I'm Marcus Conti reporting on Act 2 of The Witch Hunt. Russiagate Witch Hunt now moves into Act 2. Right, act 1 was the Democrats accusing the Republicans of, 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 of Trump collusion with the Russian government, Russian interference in their election, right? which is all lies. Right Now, Act 2 is Trump in the driver's seat. With his man, Robert Barr, the attorney general, who is now appointing another guy, right? New name, new name, John Durham. John Durham from Connecticut, a United States prosecutor, is going to now investigate investigate a couple of things, right? So what's he going to investigate? Will the attorney William General William Barr has appointed a U.S. attorney to examine, quote, the origins of of the Russia investigation and determine if intelligence collection efforts targeted the Trump campaign, quote, lawfully and appropriate. Uh, that's, uh, that's the new, so this is the now fourth, this is now four investigations later, right? You had Rosenstein doing his own thing. You had, um, you had the uh, inspector general, then there's another jerk off out in, in, some other state doing a, an investigation into Hillary Clinton's emails, right? So on and on and on, right? So it's just it's just another witch hunt. Why why am I down on this? Uh, I'll tell you why I'm down on it right away. Because what it is is it's the pendulum, right? The pendulum swings this way and that way, right? You know the pendulum it swings this way, right? And and it's just all it is is the swinging of the other side. What is not going to be revealed and what needs to be revealed is page forty eight of the Mueller report, right? There is a the allegation that that uh, twelve GRU Russian agents hacked the Democratic uh, computer servers and leaked that information to WikiLeaks is patently false. is so unbelievable and so ridiculous at this point. But it seems that none of the two sides of the pendulum, the two sides of the coin, the corrupt Democrats and the corrupt Republicans, care to look at the real evidence. So if you want to look at, Hannity does a good job, but still nobody, why is nobody talking about the 12 Russian hackers that allegedly hacked the DNC? There's no evidence to suggest that that happened, right? That is the foundation of the, of the whole thing. That is the, 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 the whole story of Russiagate is predicated on the fact that the DNC was hacked by Russians. Without DNC being hacked by Russians, there is no collusion. There is no obstruction. There is no need for any of these FISA warrants, right? So go one step further. Yeah, do your investigation. Catch all the bad guys. James Comey is highly uh, uh, in, in, implicated in this in this whole thing, right? Getting FISA warrants without any real evidence and such. Let's just read a little from the, the mainstream media. Find out who this guy is. John Durham. John Durham, U.S. attorney in Connecticut, will conduct the inquiry, sources said. Well, there's no real source, but uh, I think all the, all the, what I see, all the major, major media is con- confirming that this has happened. So this guy is definitely going to, John Durham is going to start an investigation, right? We'll look at William Barr. Right? What Barr, Barr is ultimately, you know, responsible for making the final decision. On, on all this stuff. So we'll look at William Barr, what he has said uh, as well. The move comes as the Trump administration has pushed for answers on why federal authorities conducted the surveillance. That's Trump. All Trump cares about is why did they investigate me? Why did they spy on me? Right. All right. He's the president of the United States and they did spy on him. But why don't you go one step further, Mr. Trump? Say, Trump, Trump lost me. Uh, you know, I mean, it's, I mean, Trump lost me. I wrote a list. Tax breaks for the for the wealthy corporations. All right. The coup in Venezuela. He orchestrated that coup in Venezuela with his with with, with all his, you know, all the dirty, 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 dirty swampers, Pompeo and, and those guys, right? No wall, no locker up. He vetoed the he vetoed Congress's decision to end the war in Yemen, still in Afghanistan, still in Iraq, still in Syria. Right? He plans to raid, uh, uh, invade Iran. Right? He's in love with Israel. What's up with that? Right? Right? Unemployment, still record high. It's not 3.7%. It's 25%. Jobs still being exported overseas. So 
to me, Trump is colossal failure, all talk, uh, no action. And, and again, all he cares about, in my view, is um, clearing his own name, clearing my, I have to clear my name, my presidency, my legacy. Who gives a shit about your legacy? Who gives a shit about your legacy? Right? The American people are what you should be caring about. Right? Health care, right? health care for all. In the military industrial complex, starting these these counterinsurgency wars, right? the American people, jobs, right? All right, but in the, instead he cares about himself. So that's what this witch hunt, the phase two of the act two of the witch hunt into Russian collusion to prove that Donald Trump didn't collude with the Russians, who who authorized the the investigation into my campaign. That's what you'll hear now, two years going into the next election. Rather than, rather than looking at the real evidence, Mr. Barr, if you want to find the real evidence, Mr. Barr, how, did, how is it that, that, that um, no one is looking into 12 Russians hacking the DNC and, and that it was paid for by CrowdStrike, the, the Clinton campaign? Yeah, yeah, the Clinton campaign, Hillary Clinton, dirty as they come. Evil, nasty, lying, cheating, stealing as they come. The worst of the worst. Agree. However, you have to look at, at the, the origin. If you want to look at the origin in your own words, right? The, the origin of the Russia, Russia investigation, you must, look at, you must look at the leak itself that was leaked to WikiLeaks and all of Podesta... Podesta's emails that were released leading up to the election. That is the, the, the origin of Russiagate. Because without that, there is no Russiagate. There is no reason to investigate Trump, right? It's predicated on the fact that 12 Russians hacked the DNC and there's absolutely no evidence whatsoever to prove that. Right? That's, the, that's the essence of... That is the origin of the Russia investigation. And I would hope that they go after that. But again, I don't suspect they will because just as the Democrats are politicized to catch Trump doing something bad, Trump is now uh, politicized to just catch the Democrats trying to catch him doing something bad, right? Rather than actually look at the origin of the, of the, the Russia crises, right? And if you do that, then you also realize that the election was rigged against Bernie Sanders in favor of Hillary Clinton, all of that, that the elections in the country are rigged, that they're fake. Or, you know, so Trump, I, I suspect that they're not going to want to touch any of that. Right? So let's listen to uh, Barr in his own words. Right? This, is, this is the mind of the man leading the charge. And he believes spying occurred. He believes, uh, let's hear it in his own words. A lot has already been a lot of this has already been investigated, and a substantial portion of it has been investigated and is being investigated by uh, the Office of uh, Inspector General at the department. Uh, but one of the things I want to do is pull together all the information from the various investigations that have gone on, including on the Hill uh, and in the department and uh, see if there are any remaining questions uh, to be addressed. And can you share with us why you feel a need to do that? Well, uh, you know, for the, same, well, for the same reason we're worried about foreign uh, influence in elections, we want to make sure that uh, during an election, I, I think spying on a political campaign is a big deal. It's a big deal. Uh, generation I grew up in, which was the Vietnam War uh, period, you know, people were all concerned about spying on uh, sure. anti-war people and so forth by the government. And there were a lot of rules put in place to make sure that there's an adequate basis before, before our law enforcement agencies get involved in poli you know, political uh, surveillance. I'm not suggesting that uh, those rules were violated, but I think it's important to look at that, and I'm not just, I'm not talking about the FBI uh, necessarily, but intelligence agencies more broadly. So you're not, you're not suggesting though that spying occurred? I don't, uh, well, uh, I guess you could, I, I think there's spying did occur. Yes, I think spying did occur. 
it's not disputable. Spying did occur. They spied. They got the the warrants to spy. Right? There's no there's no mystery there. Right? They did spy. The 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 expression on this democratic woman's face is hysterical. I mean, she's like, "You didn't you didn't say spy, did you?" I said, "Yeah, yeah, spy." Well, let me. But the uh, question is whether it was predicated, adequately predicated, and I'm not suggesting it wasn't adequately predicated. That's that word right there, adequately, adequately predicated. That's where Barr. Um, there was no was was spying on the Trump. The again, if spying on Trump because he colluded with the Russians is predicated on what? It's predicated on the fact. That the Democratic, that, that they found evidence, they claimed to have evidence that the DNC was hacked by Russians. So the predicate is not, the predicate is the, is the initial hack, right? And the prosecution of the guy who published it, you know, fucking guy, you know, uh, Assange, Julian Assange is in, in a prison in England. Right now, the guy who knows the answer to this question, rather than exalt. Right, pending another uh, uh, grand jury um, uh, assembly. Right, so again, contempt of contempt of a grand jury to give testimony. Uh, they're going to throw it back in jail, I think. But it, that's a that's a shame, right? Torture the the the, the whistleblower, and and prosecute the publisher of that information. It's so bizarre that that is the that is the origin of WikiLeaks. And in there you'll find espionage. In there you'll find money laundering. In there you'll find election fraud. Possibly the murder of the actual leaker. Uh, you'll find all this stuff. Right? But but no, they they're not interested in that. They're interested in finding out Trump on the Trump's Trump's direction. Why did they spy on me? But I'd need to explore that. I think it's my obligation. Congress is usually very concerned about intelligence agencies and law enforcement agencies staying in their proper lane, and I want to make sure that happened. We have a lot of rules about that, and uh, I want to say that that uh, I've said i'm reviewing this i am going i haven't set up a team yet but i do have i have in mind having some colleagues help me pull all this information together and, and let me know whether there's some areas that should be looked at so he has pulled now this is this is old so he has pulled together his team and um you know and this and this uh again this is the guy right this is the guy john durham john durham is going to lead the charge all right so Marcus Conti reporting on the la latest leg of the new witch hunt, right? Now, for two more years, what are we going to hear? Are we going to hear what's the, what's the best for the American people as we lead into the election, or is it just going to be a shit fight, a piss fight, pissing on each other? You did this and you did that, right? The, the, whole, the whole the premise of the Russia narrative is predicated on Russians hacking our election, right? Our elections are fake. Now, if there was no hack, then who hacked? Who who rigged the election? Right? It, the Democrats did. Right? The Democrats rigged the goddamn election. God damn it! Right? That's the essence of RussiaGate. Right? Get to the point, man. Get down to it. Get down to it. Right? Yo, oh, it's part of the plan. Fuck you. Part of the plan. Part of the plan is telling the truth. Is getting busy on 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 what actually happened, what we know about Russia Gate, right? You want to click, you want to drain a swamp. Trump wants to. You're, you're you're behind Trump to drain the swamp. Trump is the swamp. Look at the swamp he put together. Mike Pompeo, uh, uh, Elliot Abrams, you know John Bolton, the war criminal, right? Elliot Abrams, war criminal. Steve Mnuchin, the, the scumbag from Goldman Sachs running the treasury. That's, that's, that's what you find. You find that gratifying and you find that uh, uh, appealing. It's ridiculous, man. It's ridiculous, right? So what do I suspect? I don't think that we'll get to the bottom of, ever get to the bottom of Russia again. You want to be a hero, Trump? You want to be a hero? Go, go into the trenches and get Assange out of that 
goddamn jail. Drop your stupid extradition warrant, right? And let the guy go. Let the guy speak, right? And we can get to the truth. You want to get to the truth? I don't think you want to get to the truth. I don't think Trump wants to get to the truth. Trump wants to paint his own truth with his, uh, you know, his, with his um, name exalted to the top of the list. Marx Conti reporting. Become a Patreon. Uh, one-time contribution, if you can, to uh, to PayPal. And uh, you can also buy some stickers on eBay. Marcus Conti reporting.